Hello, and this is your Beltane Astrology Forecast. The luminary transitions are lining up this year with the sun moving into Taurus on Mother's Day, 514, and then once again shifting on another holiday, Litha, 621, into Gemini. We have two full moons in Beltane this year, one coming up on May the 4th, be with you, 5-4, and it's two full nights of illumination in Virgo on 5-4 and in Leo on 5-5. It's going to be a fun year for Cinco de Mayo. The second full moon of Beltane is on 6-3 in Scorpio, a nice little window of opportunity for you to force through everything that you have been starting or continuing to work on during the last month full of Aries influence. There's a new moon in Aries on 518 and two nights of that actually on 519 as well in Taurus. We've got quite a few transitions for the illuminated planets. First of all, Mercury, which is currently retrograde in Aries, enters the cusp of Cetus on 59. That does not bode well for communications of any sort and specifically for relationships because Venus will shift into Gemini on 57. And that combination is going to make it a very bad time. To start dating just for a narrow window here because that cusp of Cetus does end on 529 after Mercury has had time to start moving in the right direction again in that retrograde which ends on 518. Looking towards the end of June, you see Mercury will move into Taurus on 6-6, and Venus will move into Cancer on 6-3. That won't bring much relief as people begin to start stubbornly drawing boundaries in the sand, but it will make you at least feel a little bit more close to the people you love. As we look towards the end of May, we see that Mars is going to shift into Cancer. That will bring about a renewed sense of wanting to do things together with people we love uh, and with the cusp of Cetus ending and Mercury and Venus both moving on, that may once again be possible. However, there will be some challenge to that because Jupiter is going to shift into Aries around the same time on 518, and that's going to bring with it another refreshed sense of needing to do something new to start new things. Uranus uh, will enter the cusp of Taurus here at the the end of uh, June, so that should bring uh, a sense of uh, love uh, amongst people in the collective consciousness, but also um, maybe some dysregulated emotions. And uh, we see that Neptune will go retrograde around the same time, so that will feed back into that as well. Quick note about the mystery transitions. We've got Pluto retrograde in Capricorn throughout Beltane, as we mentioned and Ceres has a few transitions coming up. It's in Leo here early on in May and it goes retrograde in the middle of May. Then it enters Coma Berenicis. What that will mean for us I'm not sure if anyone knows. We've got a planet that is ruled by chaos, a sign that is ruled by chaos, a retrograde. We shall see what that entails. It'll all be over quickly because before the end of May, Ceres will be moving into Virgo. What does this mean for us? Well, first of all, communication goes on the fritz on 5-9. Be careful. Take it slow. Miscommunications abound. After the coming weekend starts a period of poor dating and relationship outcomes, Long-standing relationships may see some jealousy. Dreams right now are very intense and will continue to be intense and fatalistic and potentially even more fatalistic as this Pluto retrograde builds. Uh, and that has no sign of letting up the spell tain. Dreams may turn into nightmares or vice versa. Things will get worse until Jupiter shifts fully into Aries. And then that energy should bring some relief uh, from the intense dreams as people feel called instead to create, to go, to do uh, in their spiritual practices. Uh, Fighting that comes about because of the Mercury and Venus transitions will leave behind strength in those relationships that survive through the season into the season of cancer. This has been your Beltane forecast from the Coven of the Open Mind. I'm Lady Firewind. Thanks for watching. Have a very blessed Beltane and blessed be.